Lovely fresh Yorkshire goat's milk. And now we need to turn it into cheese. And what better person to help me with this than champion cheesemonger Andy Swinscoe. So Andy, what sort of cheese is our goat's milk going to make? Well, we're going to make quite a light fresh cheese because we don't have too much time, so just very light, delicate, quite nice and zesty. We'll put it through this uh, filter here because it's just fresh out the goat. And so because it's got all the bacteria in there, yeah. hopefully you can make a bit of flavoured cheese. We then add key ingredient rennet, which separates the curds and the whey. Cover and leave on a low heat for four hours. Yay! So there we can see it's changed. It's changed a lot. So you can see on the top of it, there's a little bit of whey. So we'll take a little bit of that off, because the milk is set to curd. So you wouldn't normally deal with anything this fresh? No, we, we normally, normally the cheese we do, we'll age out a little bit more. Yeah. Some of the cheddars we have are up to 18 months old. And the goat cheese we normally stock is about three weeks. So I'm going to sell it to the judges as a really fresh, light fresh, cheese. Fresh, light cheese, really zesty, clean zesty. flavours, good flavours of the milk. Ed Salt and David Williams have decades of experience judging goat's cheese. Let's see if they will savour my flavour. Well, it looks good. It's white like a goat's cheese should be. Even texture. Smells like a goat's oh, cheese. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very good. Very clean. No, nice, soft nice curd. creamy texture. The goat's milk doesn't contain any carotene, so mm. it's pure white in colour. And goat's milk's incredibly digestible, so very good, fantastic. In fact, I'd say it was better than some that I've judged today. Oh, there you go, then. <laughs> what yeah. a verdict. Yeah. We, I mean, should put it, we, should, we should put it on top table and see if it wins. <laughs> <laughs> so the